I got rid of those bikers for you. Johnny wasn't there, though. The other guy's supposed to be taking care of him. Don't worry about it, Nikki. Take me to this is as far as I can go, man. Bye-bye. You listen to me, Isaac. Listen, dick. It's not my fault you got robbed. Not my fault. I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. You understand? I'm on a cell phone, you jerk. Oh, you want me killed? Oh, yeah? Screw you! I'm done with you. You understand? I'm finished. No, no, you know what? I ain't even started yet, you demon fuck! I'm in shit because of you, you piece of sh Hello? Hello? Uh, ah! Go ahead! Open your mouth, asshole! Push your fucking luck! Ray! The fuck do you want? You told me to come. Well, sorry! Having a bad fucking day! Oh, I'm sorry. Me too. Fuck it. Fuck it. That curly head leech is gonna talk! Go shut that stooge up! Shut who up? Isaac! The diamond dealer! Blaming me for everything! Everything! Even the shit we didn't do! You know, I got no money, no diamonds, and his dick's threatening to have me killed. Blaming me, cause he got robbed! Okay, so? He's holed up in the Majestic with a couple of his cronies. Go shut those fuckers up! No problem. Hey! Can I get a coffee, please? Are you stupid or something? To Nichols. Two point oh, you know, there we are. Thanks. Because it's you know sort of about me, you know, uh, like like Bauman or something. Maybe. You're not welcome here. Get out of here. Security breach! <laughs>
Isaac up for you. I feel like all I've been doing is shutting people up ever since this diamond thing started. Well, we ain't got the diamonds, but we don't know where they are. Johnny had spikers to come back and disappear with the money. And every other mouth that came close to those diamonds is closed for good. Except for yours, that is. You gotta be grateful for that. Screw you, Ray. I ain't your cleanup guy no more. You get that? All right, Nikki, all right. Don't go forgetting about respect or nothing. He's still just another straight off the boat punk. It can get real scary if you don't got friends. You remember that. I want to bring the reality. Sure. He's in a bad way. Last I heard, he was spending his hours in some park in Akron. Go down and check on him. Me and Gerald will cover any expenses incurred. All right, man. I'll go find him. Too many gorillas! Hey, 
City That's better than me. Thank you very much. I told you I'm not gonna go. I'm your brother. I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed the hand. <laughs> Looks like you'll need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake! I was just wishing you'd leave! Hey! Hey! Sit down! That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. Because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring, which is even better. <coughs> so, what do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about when they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean, <clears throat> I ain't a saint. I ain't a man of principle. I, I messed up. But I tried. I made a mistake. But I admitted it. We all make mistakes. Exactly. And this guy is still threatening to kill me and my family. What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him. And his pals up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his pals up. Apparently, your guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderney. Go check it out. Make sure his boys are there. I want them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police car. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! He'd rather everyone go down than him take them all alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done.
Run to your friends, Bucky. The cops are here. Nico! Nico, my boy! Good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? <laughs> Good. Yeah, alive. But dead. It's all the same, though, is it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, cheese. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. Where can I take you? Spend a lot. Go for it. How do I want you? to go to something. This is it. You Thank you. Online. You should join an online dating project. with many more. Huh? That thing? Our friend did what? Thirty-seven and eight? No. Huh. <laughs> What about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chop. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we can talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat. No, the guy with the, you know, the but the beep the poop. Yeah, the guy with the and the. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I heard. So be cool, Ray. 
Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just ask it. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Ugh. I'll be in touch, Nikki. Bye. 
I got myself into. your driving gas hole. Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house for my fever and Abby. You know the one I need. Let me wait here. are killing us, man. You people are heading towards the Dark Ages. Up until the 1950s, this country was sick, diseased with worry. We helped usher in change with drugs perfect for an America coping with anxiety due to the Civil Rights Movement. You guys want to take us back to home medicine? Please, you won't kill people with your nonsense. The fact is, the only thing that makes people better is drugs. Not hokum pokum, not shitting in a bag and sleeping with my dad. Narcotics are what matters. Drugs. Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding dress. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardpack. He'll call you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house for a fever head and winter. Please leave me out of this. She's the one with a headache. I respect it. You learn. Learn the master dipshit. Don't kids die. Where he to? a little girl a liver transplant. Nah, oh, we're going to, uh... Here we are. That's, uh, very kind of you. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches, working for guineas, working for niggas, any asshole with a buck. 
A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible. And remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. <laughs>